basically a uh, searching pattern that Mercer developed. And I buy a lot of my hooks from the fly shop in Redding, California. They have some uh, really good pricing on the basic Tiemco hooks. So anyway, first of all, the basis on this is a thread body. And um, you put a little flash on it. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this sulky thread. Again, it's a Joanne deal. And there was a uh, sewing shop in Salt Lake that had it for a while, but they went out of business. You can also buy it online. And um, actually, Lance turned me on to this one because he used, used it on his flies. This stuff is about four times stronger than any flash you'll ever see. So for ribbing, um, anywhere where you want to put pearl flash, it comes in all kinds of colors, blue, black, green, yellow, pink, whatever. So first of all, you guys know about spinning thread, <clears throat> flatten it out counterclockwise. If you want a nice smooth body here on this fly, then come up about two thirds. And this is uh, the sulky thread going on. This stuff is really, really tough. And I'll show you here in just a sec. Tie this in. I cannot, well, I barely broke that. Most flashes is not like that. So then I get out my super duper UV fluorescing loon stuff and I coat the, this body with this to make it more durable and then we use the magic light which there are a bunch of different ones See, John, I'm uh, pursuing the use of your vice. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty handy. So that's nice and hard now. So then we tie in the legs, and these again are uh, Zelon. I'm going to trim this. Usually I wet it. This is the gray zealon. Pardon me? The gray zealon on this? The which? Gray. Gray? Light gray. Yeah. So we're going to tie this one on this side. And then I'm going to trim it long for now. And then I'm going to tie it on the other side. like that. <clears throat> Turn that there. So we got these floppy legs out here. 
you can thank Mike Mercer for this whole deal. Years ago when him and I were working on this, it came from Charlie Cravens, um, and he uh, used to use a plastic bag and then use those canned air deals. And again, we're using the mousetrap glue to dub this. And all you really need is a little bit of dubbing. So I don't know if you guys have used ice dub a lot, but it's not the easiest stuff to dub with. But with that mousetrap glue on there, there you go. Anybody see that? So that stuff's really on there. Now, so the next thing is the wing. Actually, that works pretty good. And um, you can either use, this happens to be yearling elk premium bleached, but you don't want to put too much hair on this fly. Otherwise, it gets too bulky. You guys know about tapping at an angle with your hair like this? It actually sets it up a lot better in the stacker. So I haven't got a lot of hair here. Anybody see that? But it's enough to do the wing. And the wing should go back about as far as the end of the hook. What was that? So normally what I do is I do two loose wraps and then I pull on it and do some more. Maybe two or three more when I come forward with it. And then post it up like that. Now the next thing, and it's probably the hardest part, is to tie in the hackle. which I use free on most of these patterns. You can use Grizzly, you can make it whatever you'd like. This is a Cree hackle. we don't trim the hair at this point is because we we want to um, tie the hackle in uh, uh, facing downward so we can wrap it yeah there we go thanks John new toys like that, and then we want to wrap it underneath the entire wing two or three or four times, then I can catch that hackle there, go around a couple times, Bring it over there. Using that again to cut the hackle out. Then what I'll do 
right now is put a dab of head cement right between the hackle and the wing and let that dry to get that more securely done and then because you got all that hair I prefer to use a uh, half hitch tool because I um, I shoot raw photos and then I shrink them like what I sent to you but you can see every detail and when you blow them up it's almost scary so what you think is a good tie ends up being not so hot so now we want to trim the bulk off the wing just have a standard caddis head there like that and then because I can't access it with the in the vise to trim the legs to the back of the hook And there is your missing link. I will. So you can see it floats really well, and the rear end actually hangs down the water like an emerger kind of thing. Mm -hmm.